Hey guys, with the new release of Android 4.4.2 KitKat for the International Galaxy Note 3, it left me feeling just a little bit jealous, a little bit pissed off at why we didn't get a leak yet. Anyways, Mexico luckily had a 4.4.2 leak for their Galaxy Note 3, and it just so happens that the Mexican Galaxy Note 3 is the same model number as the Canadian Galaxy Note 3, so I managed to get that flashed onto my phone. So let's go ahead and take a look. Thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing some of the features. So right off the bat here, you'll notice up here in the status bar that we've got those white KitKat icons. So we don't have any more of those um, ugly ass green sort of gingerbread-esque style icons that Samsung is so unfortunately famous for. But if we pull down the notification tray, it reveals some more ugly green icons. I don't think they're ever going to learn. Anyways, so aside from that, if we go ahead and jump into the messaging application, we're not actually here to look at the messaging app, we're here to look at the keyboard. Apparently in landscape mode, the keyboard has been improved, again, stock Samsung keyboard. Um, apparently it's been improved in landscape mode for gesture typing, things like, like swipe or whatever. Um, I don't really use a stock Samsung keyboard, so I couldn't tell you guys if it's an improvement or not. However, I'll take their word for it. Uh, in addition to that, if we go ahead and click on the emoji button, we've got a whole bunch of emo uh, new emojis apparently that they've um, gone ahead and added with a bunch of different categories for us to choose from, so some people might like that. And in addition to that, actually, right from the lock screen, you might notice right away that we've got this new camera shortcut. So we can go ahead from there, swipe out, and away we go, which is pretty cool. Now, in addition to that, um, if you happen to listen to music a lot on your phone, the lock screen album art will now be full screen and sort of, instead of that sort of like half cut type of look that uh, it was at previously. So that's nice. Um, also, there's been a bunch of imp uh, performance improvements and things like that. People are already, you know, um, reporting that their benchmark scores uh, have gone way up and so on and so forth. But I'm going to stay away from the whole Samsung and benchmark thing because of that whole debacle from the uh, Galaxy S4. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but I will tell you though that from the lock screen, if you look, here, it actually seems a lot quicker to unlock the device. Maybe it's a placebo effect, I don't know, but it just, I'm a pretty big stickler for how quickly a device can unlock from the lock screen. It's just, it's a really weird thing for me to get to be a stickler about, but I am, and I swear to God, it's quicker, okay? So it is. Um, aside from that, if we jump actually into the settings menu here, we go over to connections and down to more networks, you'll notice we now have, because of Android 4.4.2, wireless printing capabilities, as well as just above that we can choose between the stock messaging application or Google Hangouts. Woo! We cashed in on that one, didn't we? Um, so now, aside from that, if we go over to the general tab and scroll down just a little bit, we've still got also that uh, the addition of the default applications, which also, again, is another avenue to access between the um, stock messaging application or Hangouts or whatever other messaging application you have in there, as well as between TouchWiz or any third-party um, launcher that you might have. And that's pretty much it. So all you've basically got is uh, new status bar icons, um, some new lock screen actions, uh, an improved stock Samsung keyboard in landscape mode with some new emojis, f um, and and some settings, uh, some default app settings, and, and, and that's pretty much it. But that's not terrible because it still is Android 4.4.2, and with Android 4.4.2 we get memory optimizations, speed optimizations, and graphic optimizations. So it's it's not a bad situation at all. Anyways, guys, um, that's basically it. Just thought you guys would be interested in taking a look at what it had to offer. But that's it for this one, though, guys. If you liked the video, click that like button down below, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that is it for this one. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.